that came up one time. I went to Canada one time to do a show. Right now, by myself, it was a group of us, but like not like Canada, like you know, like uh, the, like no, like way up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we was like a mile from Santa Claus. <laughs> I performed in front of 385 inmates. My first joke was knock knock. All the inmates said, who's there? I said, it don't matter. They ain't gonna open up the motherfucker door for you. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed just like y'all. <laughs> All the people. Raw, but I had I had to stay, you know, calm. Cause you know, I don't want to get excited. On those little planes, they have a voice recorder in case the plane crash. You know, and they can't identify the body, right? So they listen to the voice recorder. And I didn't want to be, oh yeah, and just say we crashed. I didn't want to say, you know, I didn't want them to listen to it and say something like, oh shit, we about to crash. You know what, motherfucker? I knew I shouldn't got on this fucking plane. But I guess what, bitch? I'm not gonna die first, because I'm gonna stab you, stab you, stab you. <laughs> and then they would have said something like, well, we can't identify the bodies, but pretty sure one was a virgin. What is going on? I am so, I see y'all with y'all little mask on. I can't even do it no more. I'm sick of this COVID-19. And the part I'm sick of is uh, the Amber Alerts. Who the hell stealing children in a pandemic? <laughs> Who is Amber? The part that make me mad is when you read the description of the car. Who got away in a 1992 Ford Taurus? <laughs> Who left a one state and went to another state in a Ford Taurus? That's that man's baby. You can't tell me nothing else. Do you know how many times he had to put water in that car to cross state lines? <laughs> That's that man kid. You can't tell me nothing else. Get that man his baby. Well, I guess she's thinking, wow, this guy doesn't have any jokes planned. Nope. <laughs> I don't. I'm just going to stay up here and waste time for a little while. Because you know how I feel right now. You ever get to work and you think to yourself, man, fuck this job. That's how I feel right now. <laughs>